Look, we got no lights today, okay? Because the markets aren't spectacular. I'm just, I'm just kidding, guys. Listen, I was too lazy to turn the light on behind me. I'll have it on for the next video. But we're going to do a market update. What is going on in the markets? Are we still bullish? Is it still on, only up October, pumptober? You know, we're kind of lagging behind. What is really going on? And are we still bullish? Am I still bullish? I know a lot of people are getting frustrated, overwhelmed. They're thinking this wasn't how October was supposed to go. I thought it was only up. What is going on? Listen, we're going to cover all that. What is going on, guys? My name is Ro. If you're new to the channel, my name is... um actually i already said my name listen i've been covering these markets since 2017 or i've been in these markets in 2017 and in 2021 something that really helped in that bull cycle was leveraging a lot of information from other youtubers so that's basically what i'm here to do for you guys today i'm not a financial advisor but i do provide you know my favorite meme coin plays 10 20 30 40 50 x cryptos that i've gotten into very early and a lot of you guys have made gains off of and i also love to do market updates such as this one so i try to help you guys you know have that confirmation going into these markets that we are still not over yet we are far from over in this bull run and that's just my personal belief obviously not a financial advisor but let's hop into the video okay uh what we're looking at right now is the overall crypto markets right now we're sitting at a 41 fear and greed well not really 41 we'll take a look at that after uh bitcoin trading at 62,000 right now I'm just moving my mic out of the way a little bit 62,000 uh, in the last 24 hours guys are down 23 percent in the last seven days we're down 5.33 percent so october is off to a very shaky start october in terms of bitcoin returns right now is probably minus four percent minus five percent you know september everyone was thinking we are going to uh you know have a huge crash and september kind of played off like this the first week the first two weeks were very bearish and then the last two weeks were ultra 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 mega bullish right so we kind of flipped the script on what september was supposed to be as yes we did however get the um uh what's it called get the discounts we were looking for because we had huge discounts in the first two weeks but then gearing up towards october because of the fact that everyone thought october was going to be only up october we started pumping like crazy i think bitcoin went all the way up to like sixty-seven thousand or 65,000 something very high guys right and ever since then since October started we kind of have been lagging behind and that's because of the, the age-old saying buy the rumor sell the news and the rumor is the fact that you know Q4 is meant to be very bullish and listen I still believe it is we're just shaking out the hands right now that only bought into crypto because they heard that October is going to be ultra mega bullish we're just shaking those hands out right now you're telling me the market makers don't know what you guys are thinking listen the big institutions the big companies they know exactly how you guys are thinking they want you guys to think a certain type of way so they can do the complete opposite right fear and greed index right now we're at a 49 you can see last week guys last week which is like the last um the last couple of days of september we were in greed area and i always tell you guys the fear and greed index is your best friend you want to be using the fear and greed index in everything that you do you want to use it in parallel to where we are in the cycle i've told you guys 2025 august september october is when i think the bull run peak is going to come and i would i'm going to you know pay close attention to the fear and greed index at that time because if it aligns with the timeline then i know i should be pulling profits out at this time i should be taking money out of the markets at this time you know when we see the fear and greed index at an 80 right almost getting towards extreme greed that would be a great significant or sorry a great um a great signal a great indicator that hey i should start pulling money out of these markets and that's kind of how i want you guys to go about it and as for the macro economics guys i mean there's a lot of fundamental bullish news that's going on behind the scenes even though the markets are down right now even though they're telling you you know that the markets are down right now let's listen to this right jp morgan has tripled its internal crypto team all while its ceo bashes bitcoin look they are going to tell you one thing but do something else that's why you have to not you know don't do as they say but do as they do literally just do as they do because they're going to tell you one thing they're going to make a narrative of one thing look they made the narrative already that october is going to be ultra bullish this is not the youtubers that do it guys this narrative has to come from somewhere okay and i believe that it's the market makers it's the big institutions they want us to believe one thing so they can do the complete opposite now when everyone is basically rinsed out of these markets when you guys are you know basically at a point of giving up in these markets come october like come this week next week 
then they're going to start putting the printer on for Bitcoin. They're going to start pumping. They're going to start dropping funds into the market, guys. And then we're going to pump again. And who is going to make the money? The big players, the big guys, the big institutions, the corporations, guys. Not your average retail investor. Because the average retail investor invests based off of their emotion. They see the markets are down, they leave or they sell. They see the markets are up, they're like, oh, sick, let me buy now because we're going up. That is a mar that is a mindset they have. And it's really sad because that is like how these guys take advantage of us right but that's why i'm here right my channel is to make you guys educated um people that do their due diligence right people that go against the current now this is kind of where we are at right now kind of in the optimism phase before we get that euphoric bull run before we get that blow off top listen guys we're still very early 2025 is still when i think the bitcoin top is going to come in and that's just based on historical data right because we had our having in april 2024 and historically it's 500 to 550 days after is when we get a bull run top and that brings us anywhere to september october or sorry august september october time so keep an eye on the markets during that time this short-term price action it genuinely it does not mean anything it's not that significant we still have a long long way to go i hope you guys just keep that in mind big breaking news china is about to unban bitcoin now one thing that i noticed in 2021 was that every time we're pumping china loves to come out with an announcement saying we're banning bitcoin we're banning bitcoin i think they've tried to ban bitcoin like 20 times and i mean hey it, 20 times it's failed and now they're coming back and they're about to unban bitcoin again which again is obviously bullish guys because china is probably the second biggest country in the world has a bunch of people that want to get into crypto has some very smart people so i wouldn't be surprised if you know if this does play out well it would be a catalyst for the bull run oh there's a turbo thing but yeah, guys, there is a lot of bullish news going on right now, and especially in the fundamentals. I don't want you guys to be shaken out by the, you know, the market movements right now, because this is what big market makers want you guys to do. They want you guys, they want to squeeze you out of these markets, literally suck you dry. That's literally all like pause, but that's literally all these guys want to do. So, you know, it's very biblical too, right? Do not give in to your fleshly desires. You know, your fleshly desires could be fear. It could be greed. And when you turn into crypto, don't give into that. Don't give into your greed. Don't give into your fear. Instead, go against it you know study the market study the timeline study the cycles and you'll realize that the best time to be getting in is when everyone is fearful and the best time to be getting out is when everyone is being greedy when you start hearing this time is different bitcoin's going to 300 400k that is when you want to start getting out of these markets because everyone has become a little bit too greedy now the big youtubers are not going to tell you this but listen i'm genuinely here for you guys i hope you genuinely enjoyed these videos and again support me helping get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year guys we recently just hit 6k and i'm forever grateful thank you for all the support um yeah and i hope you guys you know enjoy these videos smash the like and yeah be educated investors do your due diligence i'll see you in my next one god bless you guys and peace out take care guys